Good morning. It is. Good morning. It's here. Saturday, the 23rd of December, and I'm going to be doing a weekend vlog. We've just left Waitrose. It's nine o'clock in the morning. Um, Santa is over there. I don't know yet. There he is. We've just seen him get out of his car. Obviously, I guess they're resting the reindeer right now, so they don't want to use the sleigh. Um, I think we've just got in before the rush. We were in bed this morning. <laughs> contemplating coffee and we thought oh, cozy the bags. Morning, yeah we? cozy morning we thought no we've got a few bits and pieces to get so we're gonna get out and do it now we're just on our way to the post office sorry no, no, the right. collection office because I've got a parcel that needs collecting we missed it yesterday but this is gonna be a weekend vlog we have got loads going on uh, we've got cooking baking gift wrapping we've got a couple of parties this evening um, so we've got a really nice weekend actually planned um, I've got a little bit of work but not too much um, so that's what today's video is going to be well, we'll about. Will be watching Christmas movies? Abe desperately wants to watch Christmas movies. I'm Christmas to this out now. Worry. I know, we will watch right. some. That's alright. But um, yesterday, I didn't actually vlog yesterday. Well, I kind of attempted to vlog, but it's not really vlog worthy if you know what I mean. We had the kids with us. We had a really, really, I'd like to say nice day. It was a manic day. Um, Lots of driving. Yeah, I worked for, I think, the first six hours in the morning yeah I uh, got up really early to work that's Santa. no that's not Santa um, just because somebody's wearing a red hoodie it doesn't make them Santa what makes you think I see an elf when elf goes to the guy oh uh, yeah <laughs> um, Holly came home well Aid picked up Holly no we picked up Holly from the station at 12 we then drove over to my mum's to see my mum it was like my time with my mum yesterday um, who lives an hour away it ended up though from the time we left home we were it took us over two hours the flooding was terrible we've had so much rain lately the flooding in the little villages leading up to the motorway was terrible I will insert some clips here it's not too bad, oh my god that that's bad. so bad oh. look it's up to their front doors look oh no those poor people oh. so bad those poor people the water was literally right up to their front doors the road down the side was Everyone was like in their wellies and up to their knees and people were trying to put boards up by their front doors. The fields looked like lakes. It was really, really bad. Um, so it took a couple of hours to get to mum's. We spent a couple of hours with mum, which was lovely. She did us like bread rolls and salad and meats and stuff like that, which was really nice. We had a cup of tea. And then I needed to pop in to see my sister because I had some Christmas bits for her that I wanted to see, give to her before Christmas day. So we literally had, she had to go to work. We had, I think we were in her house for 20 minutes. It looked beautiful. It looked so Christmassy. They've really decorated it well. We're having our first Christmas together, proper Christmas together um, with my brother and sister this year. We, we worked out the last time I had a proper Christmas with them. Um, my sister was 11 and I was 16. She's now 53. She's not 53. We're in our, well, she's 40 this year. So it's, we're very due at Christmas together. So we're really, really excited um, but yes I had some bits to drop off but we were there 20 minutes and again it took well we had to we drove home we ended up turning around because we weren't going anywhere were we on the road once we'd left the motorway it was, it was static it was a station yeah there. and then we picked up Louis's girlfriend on the way and then we took Holly back to the station because she wanted to go out with her uni friends for the last night last night and we, again, it took us two hours, didn't it? And then we dropped Holly off at the station. We dropped Louie and Maisie into town because they were going out for a meal. And then we came home. We walked Poppy because she'd been in all, all afternoon. And then we went back out because I had a couple of things to get from next. And then we sat in the car for a few minutes until Louie and Maisie said they were ready to come home. And we picked them up and then we finally got home. It was about half past nine. Something like that, nine o'clock, half past nine. So it was a very full on day, so it wasn't really vlog worthy. Um, and the family don't really like being in the vlogs. So. You enjoyed the last part of the day, didn't you? You know how much we love our cheese and no, egg and tomato sandwiches from Marks and Spencer's. We stopped at the services. Holly needed a wee on the way because we've been sat in the car for so long. We stopped in the services and we went and got our favourite egg and tomato sandwiches. Mm -hmm for today for lunch yeah but you bought a sneaky one and we shared yes, it last night. in the car no we didn't in bed last night about I mean, 
made last night? We should have. We didn't actually eat anything. We had. No, we had those bread rolls. We had the bread, it. two bread rolls, and salad, and that at Mum's, and that's all we had. We weren't very hungry, were we? No, I think we were still feeding off our meals during the week. Right? Oh yeah. Oh, when we went out with Paula the other night, we ate yeah. so much. We're going to the post office. Which way are you going? Oh yeah. Next sorry. Next one then turn that way. Otherwise, okay. we're all the way down and round. But um, the roads are quite quiet at the moment, so that's good. Anyway, I've been talking now for five minutes and ten seconds, so I am going to get off. It's my turn now. No. And let's hope there's not a massive queue at the collection office. I think it's busy. Packing the shopping away. I picked up a few nice treats. These um, cinnamon swirls, that you know, the ones that you can kind of like put together yourself and bake. We Holly's home later, so we picked up some vegan -y bits and pieces. In bed this morning, I found this recipe that I, I'm really craving that right now, actually. It's a linguine um, Monday linguine with like an alfredo sauce so it's like creamy with sun-dried tomatoes parmesan spinach so i picked up some parmesan and some sun-dried tomatoes I'm really fancy what else did we pick up rolled out pastry um we've got um holly's veggie corn philadelphia a bought beef to make some beef sandwiches um, i'm really hungry right now actually are you hungry I, am. Is it still in there? I don't know. Aiden is walked the dog and it's just started raining. And this is what Holly had chosen for her Christmas Day dinner a vegan root on croot. She's been thinking about this all year. So that was $5.99 for those two little parcels. And that's her treat on Christmas Day instead of turkey. So I'm coming in here to work for a while. Picked up my delivery from the sorting office or the collection office. And I've got all my stickers for next month's kit. So I'll have let you have a little look there i will link up next month's kit below it's such a lovely kit and yesterday morning i got up really early to work on this in my traveler's notebook which is also appearing in next month that is next month's kit and i've done the process video to go with it and i needed the photo for the zine so that's done aid and i've just had a coffee we've been watching spoonful of sugar vlogs and we've just been sorting out some photos as we need to make some photo gifts i now need to work for a while so i'm going to sit here and then i think we're going to have some lunch starting with the christmas nuts this is a bit of a take two i accidentally whisked the whole eggs um, I'm tripling the recipe, so that's three eggs. So I can't use those, so I've popped them in a little container. So somebody will be having scrambled eggs very soon. <laughs> I need to whisk up the egg whites. I just want to show you the washing machine though. Aid apparently had some washing up liquid spilt on his slippers. So he's put them in the washing machine for a rinse and it's very, very bubbly. We were just saying we had visions of all the bubbles like coming out of the washing machine. Whisked up egg white and water. And I'm mixing in, I like I said, I've tripled this recipe. We've got pecans, we've got walnuts, we've got cashews, almonds, and hazelnuts. Mixing them all in. What are your favorite type of nuts? I think mine have to be pecans, all oh, those walnuts. Did I say walnuts? I love pecans. If you haven't seen in my previous videos, I always buy these big bags of nuts in um, Lidl, $2.99 for these big, I think they're 500 gram packs. 200 grams they are actually, 200 grams and they're 2.99. I think that's a really good price for those. The nuts get coated in the egg white mixture. I do have a video where you see me completely making these with the ingredients, the recipe as well. So if you'd like to make these nuts, I will link that up below for you. I think they make a really lovely little gift. I'm now mixing together my sugar salt and my spices and these are then going to go over the nuts and make sure they're properly coated. Put them out Ooh. onto the tray. I've got greaseproof paper so they don't stick they and nice. they smell amazing don't they? Can't even now though can we? No not yet. You don't want them stacked on top of each other because then they don't roast off so well. So you want them nice and evenly spread. I think this smells like Christmas. Is this the triple batch you've done? Yeah, this is three lots. Mm. And that looks good. And then they bake. It says 300 Fahrenheit. So I put that on about 160. Yes, yeah, so I think 350 is about 180. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. 180 is about to get to about four. And then they go in for about 15 minutes, but watch them because I've done it before and they've actually <laughs> round the outside, they've burnt. They've gone black, haven't they? they? So I'm going to keep an eye on these. I think might I'm... want to turn them, maybe. Yeah, that's an idea. 
but I've also done them before where they've been kind of like stacked up a little bit and then so the ones underneath mm. haven't done so well. So you want them all to be crunchy, don't you? You probably want them, yeah, like you said, have them flat because I guess then you know they're all evenly cut. Yeah, so. Thank you, I need to check my nuts. Oh my goodness, hey, just scooping out the bubbles. <gasps> oh my <laughs> goodness, so you've got one pair of slippers in there. Yeah. They had fairy liquid on them. Fairy liquid, it's definitely, oh, it's dripping on Poppy's bed as well. Uh, well, oh, actually, let me get to a kitchen underneath it. Oh my goodness. So, the nuts are out. They were in in the end for 15 minutes. And I just need them to um, cool down and then I can take bubbles. them off everywhere at the moment. Oh, I know, you've got bubbles everywhere. It's like this, what is that? Oh my goodness, I can't believe how much is in there. Where are the slippers? In the sink? In the sink at the moment. Okay, Poppy, what do you think? What is it? What is it, little Pops? It's bubbles. We could put you in there, actually, because you really stink. We are finally sitting down to have lunch. I've got my favourite sandwich, and Abe's got his prawn sandwich. The Marks and Spencer sandwiches really are the best. We've got Pete's Christmas that we're going to watch. And then we're going to start working on the Christmas presents, the homemade ones. Lisa, what are you doing? I am making Christmas Day table presents. Yeah, Christmas Day table presents. Yes, Christmas Day table oh. presents. Oh. Ask me what they are. What are they? What are the Christmas Day table uh, presents? Well, what do you should ask? Um, a few years ago, I started doing extra little gifts on Christmas Day to have before our meal. On the table? Yes. Oh. Before our meal? I thought we had a dessert. Well, they go on the table, don't they? Yeah. Um, but this year, I'm spicing it up a little bit because we're not at home and it's not just us. And we're going over to my sister's. What are we most well known for within our family? doing amongst the adults. I don't say. Joke Oh, present. joke present. Sorry, I thought there was some kind of... So, we're including the kids this year. And okay. every person is having a gift bag on the table. I'm making gift um, name tags to put on the bag. So you haven't done that for a long time, have you? No, nope, I know I used to do this for the wedding. <laughs> so, um, when I used to have a wedding business. And mm. so... Each place setting, instead of having a place card, it's going to be a gift bag and there's going to be a joke present in each bag for each person. And you've done or we've done all the joke presents of... Yeah, we have. I still need to do yours though. Oh, well you said it's hard to buy me a joke present. Yeah, it is. So the idea is that you have to feed off people's weaknesses. Right. What you've got to decide what my weakness is, so you can. Um, me. The What's your weakness? One's my height, isn't it? Well, I'm not going to do something like that. That's nasty. Oh, yeah, but that's part of the fun. Something that's nasty. So you done something for me because I'm fat? No, not at all. Actually, that's horrible. That didn't <laughs> even come to my mind. Sorry, I'm munching on the nuts. I've been eating. Right. If any family members are watching, please look away. I don't want your um, surprise is spoil. So joke presents. I have bought most of our joke presents from Poundland this, this year. You can get some really good ones. And like I said, I like to try and pick on people's weaknesses. So for example, I have a niece who has a very potty mouth. And um, she's a bit older now, so it's not so bad. But when she was younger, it really got her in a lot of bother. So I picked her up a swear jar. I have another niece who's known so I think those would be really, really good for her. I have things like funny face masks, funny lollies, that kind of thing. Nothing's expensive. And yeah, well, they're all from Poundland, so they're all a pound. Um, but it's just a nice little giggle. And hopefully it will be fun on Christmas Day. And hopefully everyone will see the funny side. I will show you another one. Isn't that disgusting? You may have remembered me buying this when I was in Poundland. Try and guess which member of the family that this one's for. See if you can guess. Station. You have, you've made yourself a wrapping station. Aid's on wrapping duty and I'm making the gift bags. And then Why he am I on wrapping duty? Because you're amazing at wrapping. It's one of your qualities. 
Here's all the nuts and I'm going to put them in a little jar to gift tonight. So all the little joke table presents are now in bags. Um, I bought these bags years ago. I used to use these for wedding gift bags, but you can purchase obviously gift bags online on like Amazon or eBay, somewhere like that. And like I said, I'm going to double these up and use these as place settings on the table so that um, everyone can open them when they arrive. And I just think they look really nice and you can obviously add tissue and ribbons to match your table. And it's just really fun. In previous years, we've just had small gifts. I've done nice chocolates like Hotel Chocolat. We've had um, Fortnum and Mason um, chocolates. So it's just really nice. It's almost like an alternative to a cracker in some ways as well. I Holly from the station. She's fixing her dinner and we are showered and ready to go out for the evening. Good morning, it's Sunday the 22nd of December and I'm about to finish this vlog. We had so much fun last night. Um, I didn't vlog too much. I always feel really funny when I'm in other people's houses and I don't feel like saying, oh, do you mind if I film? And especially when they don't really sort of like watch my channel and I don't really talk about it. Some people might not even know I vlog and it just feels a bit funny. But we, are you coming in to say hello? I'm going to come say hello. Um, we ate doing meat. Hello, sorry if I just... You're really cold. Oh my, sorry, let me pause yeah. this. He's just taken the turkey out of the freezer, yeah. haven't you? Um, I'm just finishing this vlog. Okay. We had a nice time last night, didn't we? We went to our neighbours. Really nice. They were celebrating a big birthday. And that was the marquee looked lovely, didn't it? Mm. it loads of twinkly lights and that was really nice. We're really lucky with our neighbours. We've mm. got really, really, really nice neighbours all around. So that's really good. And then we went on to friends who we haven't seen for ages. We used to see them mm. all the time, especially when the kids were younger. That was really nice. And it's just harder when the kids get older, you don't see each other and a lot of my friends gone back to work full time obviously I work long hours and like we were saying it's when the kids are younger and you get together like in the school holidays and that you just don't do that anymore and we made a promise this year we'd see more of each other and I think we've seen less of each other I think I saw my friend Leslie for her birthday in the summer and I think that's been it this year so I think we saw them probably last Christmas didn't we that's what I mean I popped over yeah. to have a drink with Leslie on her birthday mm. and that's been it and so they invited us over so and we had a couple of other friends that were there and we had a really I'm make coffee okay thank uh -huh. you and i had a really nice evening she had this melting pot this cheese melting pot from marks and spencers oh. i really I, I woke up that was one of the first Best things I, it was so much better than camembert it was better than a fondue i woke oh, up I that far. It, was. it was i woke up thinking of that cheese pot this morning I want one. um so we had a really nice evening and I'm very, very tired today. But I'm going to finish this vlog and start a new one. There's going to be lots of gift wrapping and stuff today. I hope you're doing well. hope you're having a lovely December. Please do like and subscribe. It would be very, very, very appreciated. And I'll see you in the next video. Thank you. Bye. By the way, I'm just editing the video to go up and I asked you a question about that joke gift. Who did you think it was from? Um, or for I should say, it's for my sister. She's the smelliest person I know and um, it's a very well suited gift for her. So well done to you if you guessed correctly. <laughs>